Police have arrested three men in connection with the deaths of a model and her friend last month. Yeah, one man has also come forward saying one of the suspects, a Hollywood actor, confessed to him about what happened mm. that night. KCAL Mines Jasmine Veal live in Olympic Boulevard in the Pico Robertson neighborhood with details now. Jasmine. Well, Susie, this is the apartment right behind me. They're on the second floor where those two women had those fatal overdoses. And as you said, their bodies later dumped at two different hospitals. And tonight, police are concerned there could be even more women victims out there drugged by these men. Jan Sillier says it was love at first sight when he first met his wife, Christy Giles. A fairy tale relationship from the beginning. A fairy tale that turned into a nightmare a month ago. The LAPD says after a night out, the 24 year old model and her friend, Hilda Marcella Cabrales Arzola, were given drugs by three men and suffered deadly overdoses while at this apartment on Olympic Boulevard in LA. Uh, Christy and Hilda were convinced to go somewhere with these guys. We, we suspect that they were told that they were going to uh, some after party. Police arrested those three men in connection with their deaths. David Pierce is charged with manslaughter. Michael Onsbach and Brent Osborne are both charged as an accessory to manslaughter. And what's even more strange is David Marietta Jr. and his wife, both actors, say Osborne, also an actor, confessed to them all about that night with the women while they were on a shoot together days later. And he said, I had the craziest weekend of my life and proceeds to, to just tell me hour by hour detailed account and timeline of exactly what happened from late Friday afternoon to, to about Saturday afternoon, where he begins to kind of boast and, and create an alibi in the process of uh, how he went to sleep, he woke up, uh, one of the girls didn't have a pulse. Sillier says minutes after his wife arrived at this apartment around 5.30 a.m., the girls started texting each other about wanting to leave the Pico Robertson neighborhood. So at 5.30, they tried to leave. They called an Uber, and, uh, and then they were never heard from again. Police say the women's bodies were dumped later that evening outside two different hospitals by the men in a black Prius with no plates. Giles was already dead. Arzola died weeks later. And once we started going through and, and talking to the detectives and stuff, uh, things started falling into place. It's a small sigh of relief, but the, I, I know that this is not a, a celebratory point. This is just the beginning of the battle. Now, neighbors told me they've seen police being called to this apartment before uh, the DA gets the case tomorrow. Susie Wan, back to you.